hands on that one. Are you willing to let God's word change your life? In his grace to change your behavior and your choices and decisions. Are you willing? Do you have an intention to allow that to happen this morning? Yes. Look, beloved, you got up, fought the devil. At least I did. We fought the devil. Fought yourself. You fought the weather. You fought traffic. And you're here. Why not? Open your heart and your ears and to have this permeating out of you, change me today. Yes. Show me yes. where I need to begin to realign something in my life. Yes. I want to ask for your minds this morning. Do I have them? Yes. So, the schoolmaster that leads to Christ. Verse 24, King James says, Wherefore the law was our, what's your Bible say? Tutor or schoolmaster. Schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. That we might be justified by what, beloved? By what, beloved? Justified by faith. Just as if I've never sinned. Justified by faith. Verse 25, and after that faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. The schoolmaster, verse 24, is to bring us to Christ. It's to lead us to him. Chapter 4, verse 1. Now, Paul says, I say, begins to bring kind of a parable here somewhat, that the, King James says, the heir as long as he is a child, differs nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. So he's referencing God, who is the king. And he's got a child, you and me. What he is saying is that there's no difference between this child, even though he is Lord of all positionally, he is still the same as a servant. Verse 2, but this child and servant is under, what's your Bible say? King James says tutors and governors, instructors, until the time appointed by the father. Now the father, the king, has a school, and all of the children within his palace are going to that school. The duke's children are going to the school. The princess's children are going to the school. Even the servants are going to the school. And yet the king has a son there, and your Bible says that even though the son is an heir, he differs not than the servant that is in the school with him. They are all under governors and tutors and instructors. They are under the schoolmaster. Under the schoolmaster. The schoolmaster is to teach the children some things. To instruct them. To prepare them for a time that the father has awaiting for the heir, for the son, to move experientially into what the father has for him. And he's waiting and waiting and waiting for the schoolmaster and the heir or the son to avail themselves to what the tutors, governors, and instructors are trying to impart into their lives. For some servants and heirs, they stay in the school much longer than is needed. Why? Because they're not learning the lessons of the instructors and the tutors. 
Why am I always going through this? Why is there repetitive crashes in my life? Why are these the same problems I am still dealing with? Possibly is because the schoolmaster is trying to get you, possibly, and me to learn some things before he moves you into the time appointed by the Father. Counseling Beautiful Christian people, 20-something years, and for some, repetitive wrecks, repetitive areas where they're not adhering to the schoolmaster. The schoolmaster says, obey the speed limit. Pull over, Steve. And the schoolmaster says, did you not know you were speeding? Well, officer, I had a spirit of that demon, that speed demon. <laughs> nice try. Have a good day. Now, if we don't learn the lessons from the schoolmaster and learn to live in the liberty of Christ and faith, Realizing with every increase of promotion comes greater responsibility. Why did you get another ticket? Wasn't the first one enough for you? Now your insurance premiums have come up higher. Did you not learn that sins will find you out? Gets quiet, I must... I <laughs> you still listening? Still going to let the Word of God change you? Let's finish this here. Even so, when we were children, we were born in bondage with the elements of the world. Circle that, elements. That Greek word means the basics. Please listen. The basics, it means A, B, C, one, two, three. It means now the schoolmaster is endeavoring to bring the basics of living life before God. And if we don't learn them, then we continue to find ourselves underneath the bondage of the policeman or the schoolmaster. This can go right into marriages, right into communications, right into emotions, right into every area of your life and mine. Watch what he says. But when the fullness of time has come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent forth the spirit into your hearts crying what? Abba. Abba Father, wherefore you are no longer a servant but a son. And if a son, then you are an heir of God through Jesus Christ. When you are Learning what the schoolmaster has for you like little children. I used to teach school, and I taught second grade all the way up to high school. Now, the second graders were under a strong mandate from the schoolmaster or the tutor. So when they wanted to get a drink at the drinking faucet, all 30 of them would rush to the drinking faucet and push and scream and fight who gets the first drink. But if they learn the elementary principles, then they begin to un come underneath the, the understanding of those governors and tutors. And now at high school, I don't have to tell them, get in line, wait your turn. Maybe let someone go ahead of you. What am I saying with all of this? I'm trying to stop any more car wrecks life wrecks, life crashes that the schoolmaster is wanting to instruct us in so that we can live in the liberty through faith in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Good. 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 
Hello? Yeah. You're not sure you're glad you came today, are you? <laughs> Tell me you understand. I hope it gets better from here. <laughs> Mr. Zubzaretta lost a lot of money gambling. Mr. Zubzaretta goes to this church. So he calls the pastor of his church and says, I can't make rent. I said, well, how much are you... How much, how much if, how come you can't pay rent? Well, I was gambling. You're gambling? Well, you're not a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go out there and do it, you better win. <laughs> Side note, one of the ministers in Seattle called me years ago and said, hey, what do I do? I have a professional gambler in our church. What do I do with that? And he says, is it any different than the stock market? Is it any different than uh, 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 high-level trading? Is, is this any different? He says, and the guy's good. And he's a good giver. <laughs> I said, bro, I'm leaving that with you. I got enough problems over in my own posse. May God help you. God bless you. <laughs> now, Mr. Zubzaretta calls up the preacher and says, Hey, I'm, I lost 3000 and I can't pay rent. Schoolmaster. Knocking on Mr. Zubzaretta's door. Trying to instruct him. Trying to instruct him. We go through his bills. Begin to ask questions. Are you willing? Since you're crummy at this. Are you willing to forego gambling? Yes, pastor. Tears. Wife, tears. Child, tears. I don't want to lose the house. I will write you a personal check. Because I made a deal with a bank. They wouldn't save souls. And I, the church, would not loan money. That's a joke. <laughs> I personally wrote a $3,000 check. Someone shout, schoolmaster. Well, guess what? Mr. Zubzaretta called me six months later, crying on the phone. Guess what happened? The tutor and the governor, the schoolmaster, trying to bring correction, lost $6,000. Yeah. Help me. What would you do? Put a lien on his house. I said, I can't help you. Yep. Some fires yep. are from him. Yep. You need to have wisdom whether you have his mercy or unsanctified mercy. You don't write a check out to everyone who has a need. Am I belaboring this? No. That's probably enough. I got that on my heart. I hope you're still glad you're here. I think that was good education. You know that? So I think that was good education. Are you ready for some more or are you all done? <laughs> Let me get this out of me.